Gordon, Mike, your favorite hero. Uh, my favorite hero, indeed. I mean, I hate this hero so damn much. I mean, it just drags out the game so much. And I mean, you were saying it was a decent pick here, Gunner. I know you were kind of scared we might have another very, very, very long game. Well, what are you thinking about the mid lane, though? Against Mickey on the left track, who should have that inherent advantage? I think probably it's fairly even. Both of them have nukes, so they're just going to secure creeps and not think about it. And as well, both of them walked into the matchup very comfortably. Obviously, the Arc Warden's picked into the Lesh, so he knows his matchup, he knows it's mid. But Mickey also had the opportunity to you know, pawn off the Lesh if he's too scared of the matchup. So they, I think it should be pretty even. Hit. Both people are going to farm. There's there's an opportunity at level 6, mostly on the Arc Warden side. This level 6 timing is really strong with getting two sets Dyer's of all your spells, having a support rotate. Killed. But we'll probably see Mickey just rotate out of the lane once he's 6. Well, let's talk about the top lane as well. Matama Man and Sania are going to be against Toby and Kataomi. So the plus 3 Nagasaran and the plus 4 Tiny against this Lifesteal Art Lich lane. John, what are you thinking about this lane? Like, top lane, do you think one side has the advantage here? Do you think it goes the other way? I think it's fairly good for Liquid. I mean, down the line, you're going to have a cross shield to just kind of hold Matumba up front. Toby's not going to be able to be as aggressive with his right looker ass, and Kataomi's going to need levels to really kind of gap close. What I'm interested to see is really the itemization of Toby. We heard the panel. They've been going for utility, you know, rate pack, Radiant type of inside, stuff like that, just to keep killed. you alive in the middle of these fights. And that can really slow down Liquid here. I mean, they do have damage, but it's mainly on Mickey. Early, early on, it does feel like it does take a little bit more time for that life to ramp up outside of just staying alive for a long time. So I think that's what Entity's likely just going to look. Get those utility items up in Naga and just run from there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Naga being picked pretty early in this tournament. And a lot of the time, it's actually flexed the supporter off lane, like probably majority of the time. And you would always think to yourself, why would you pick this hero that's always known for, uh, you need three, four items, you need Mads, a Defusal, Scotty, a heart, and you're like, okay guys, I'll show up, I'll stop farming, I'm going to fight. But a lot of it's now that pushing lanes is very important to a lot of teams. And Naga, her spells are so good that she can push lanes with no items, or little to no items. And the way that fights are being broken up now is there's a lot of six, seven, eight second fights where you have the BKBs, you have the big Mars arenas, you have Black Hole in this game, for instance, where that's where a team needs to win the fight. The fight needs to end there. And with the new shard, which is that, it used to be the old axe, yeah. where it's the healing on the song. You kind of have this ability to reset the fights very easily in a lot of games and just, you know, play for, in this game, they have the Arc Warden. Arc Warden loves long fights. And so all they have to do is survive the early, like the Dyer's initial fight of Liquid in the mid game to late game. and. They should have the advantage. Well, talk yeah. to me about that. In fact, hold that thought, because top lane, there is going to be a bit of an avalanche, but it's not going to lead to much. Talk, but talk to me about that last lane. I and mean, we've got the bot lane as well. Uh, I believe we do have the Enigma and attack. the Spirit Breaker here against, of course, the CM and the Slaughter. What are you thinking about this one? Like, is there an advantage for either side? Should, I feel like Pure should have it over Boxy, but I, I suppose it can go either way with the Enigma being against them as well. I'm surprised that the Naga didn't go bot, actually. I thought Naga is generally good versus Enigma. Uh, but they probably think the Crystal Maiden, now with the nerfs to the Eidolons where they have less magic resistance, can probably help deal with them earlier better. And I think it's just kind of how they wanted to play their heroes in the game. And they don't care the lane as much. And Enigma also just generally wins the lane, so you can't be too sad if you lose the lane or it's a little rough. But even now, he's up 400 gold, so the early lane is going in Entity's favor. Is it worth the trade-off, though, of not having the Slaughter up against the Life Sealer early on, just to be a little bit more aggressive up top? That's I, honestly that's probably the the bigger difference into the lanes. I thought the slider was picked just to lane or as a life sealer. But again, they probably also just are comfortable playing the heroes in the style. They're comfortable playing in their lanes, so there's not much reason unless you think that it's you know a massive difference. They, they I think both of the lanes are just comfortable playing, and it'll fix what they want for the mid game. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Vision being placed here in the mid lane, Boxy with a cheeky little rotation, just trying to keep tabs on Stormstormer. I, I suppose against the Arc Warden as well. This is he's gonna have a slow game, won. but again, he's not really the win condition in this game at all. It's all in the arc. They pick the starter as a hero that will just run in, stun, and give vision for the arc and. What? If he dies, it sucks, Radio which he's dying bottom right now. He certainly is. A couple lucky bashes out, but Pure again going to be able to run. Look at those two bashes in a row. Meanwhile, top lane, Toby now going to be in danger. He's got a lot of armor on that Naga Siren, but they are still chopping through. Matumba not giving up. Toby, he'll try to keep juking around that tier 1 tower, but there is no help coming. Matumba able to secure his first kill of the game. Don't you? I would... Discussion. I like I like 20 you know level 25 60 minute games occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a staple, maybe I'd agree with you more. Here we go again. Charge out. They've got the infest bomb this time at Tumba. They're gonna find Pua on that pause one slider. Pua surely has no way out. He'll pop the sprint, but still slowed up here by Matumba. Will go down. Fishman. He was also responded, but they aren't gonna bother trying to chase that deep. They'll be happy with the slider. You see them wrap around mid or the tower. At the least, they want this tower.
Well, good read Dyer's from the Storm, from the Ark Warden. He does back off at the right moment as Fishman is the one to take the gank. Radiant's You'd argue that's good positioning, right? Like, just, in fact, hold that thought, because Kataomi, he might be in danger Radiant's as well. They may just find a second as the Nether Strike. Massive range up from Boxy, finding a second target, and they should Dyer's take him down. No problem. But Tumba, he'll be the one to take the They're hoping to just get one kill, get out, and just, you know, the game gets delayed by a minute. Delay the game, delay the game, delay the game. That's all it is. It's just about delaying. Smoke up from Entity. I mean, they're going to rotate down towards the bottom side here with their starter CM. Boxy's actually going to charge in with the SPS bomb once again. Kataomi is around. That's the big target, though. They found Stormstormer, and they're going to take the kill. But can they get their way out? Matamba, he'll also get caught here by Pure and does get shredded by the slaughter. Boxy. He's the one who's just like, all right, don't worry, guys. Just trust me. I got this game. And everyone else has to be like, all right, what do we need to do to make sure that it's all going according to plan right now? And I think the way they use the starter right now is really nice. Katomi, nice avalanche away. Still Nether Strike, massive range once again from Boxy. Though Katomi with a nice toss back, but Matumba, he's going to be there with the slows. You've got Fishman around to try and help out, but in the end, he really just can't do much through the range of Matumba. Yeah, depending on the high ground, they have a Naga Song to reset if Liquid goes a little too far. So Liquid is. They're not too happy about going enforcing high ground until they're 100% sure that it's going to be good. Yeah, the tools are there on Entity to kind of stall out. We've seen already from Entity's one game, they can stall these games out. You are. He's going to drop. Very easy pick up here by Matumba once again. Just the, the infest bomb proving to be so powerful here by Liquid. Don't even think of the Reelin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if Reelin got removed, I don't know if the Ags would change at all. This is dangerous. Oxy, he's going for a big charge. There's a lot of heroes from Entity around. He'll still go for Fishman. They might find the CM. Entity, do they want to try and force a fight? It doesn't seem like it, but this is a big timing. You talk, but he's level 15, just hit 16. So this is probably where Liquid's going to want to look to hit, you know, maybe Mega, or not Mega Creeps, but, you know, Super Creeps in the mid lane, take out the racks, take out bot racks. At least one side is probably going to be the next goal. They're going to be able to do that really well as everything's lined up. They find Toby. They are going to find Toby. They don't want that Song of the Siren available in this team fight. In comes the Tempest double, but it does end up expiring. Liquid, they've... Oh, that's a Whoa. big stun out from Pure. It's on to three, but there's no follow-up to it. In they go. On to Boxy, but he's got the BKB up. Song of the Siren's there, but Boxy, he just keeps oh. going. Oh, with the Tumba, they'll find at least one. And that's going to be Pure gone. Can you keep this fight going? Very important. Very important indeed. I, I'm kind of wondering, like, Zai's been very quiet this game as well, right? Like, we haven't seen one black hole. We did see yep. one. There was one solo black hole early in the game. Apparently there was another, we just didn't quite catch it. But what are you thinking with Zai? Like, is it is it an easy game for these black holes to come out? Is it important oh. back? Hold that thought, because mid lane, we might see one soon. Pure, he's in danger. He's nice toss back from saved. Kataomi. Saves the day, but will drop himself. Very nice sacrifice. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Zai... He just has nothing on his shoulders. He has no... He doesn't have to do anything. He just has to exist, and it's enough. It's scary. The hero's scary just existing. He always feels like, oh, guys, we're going to get black holed. We're going to get black holed. Careful, careful. And you always are talking about it. It's always the threat. I don't think he has to click it. Yeah. He can just wait for this pure to walk forward, go to the back line, go a little too far. Black hole one hero, and it's going to be enough for them. Yeah, and just going back to that pickoff, without the tiny, that threat of the Radiant's toss back is gone, so high ground completely back. opens up, even though you have some setup with the song here. I've chased a little bit, but it doesn't seem like they can keep up. In fact, hold that thought. Kataomi with a nice toss back has found Matumba, man. This could be the big one. Oh. There's your black hole out from the low ground, Zai. It will get cancelled, though, by the Song of the Siren. They have at least got Fishman down. Liquid, can they keep going? It seems like they're going to try. Toby, he's the target. He'll get forced up the way, but it may not be enough. They'll just close the gap. Oh, to Kataomi. They want more. Toss in Matumba, but that's going to help Liquid. Matumba's happy to fight. They've even found the Oh my god. An ultra killer for Mickey. And GG has called Liquid. They make this game one look very easy. Just such a dominant performance from this dire end. Oh yeah, they, they never hit that 42, 43 minute mark you talk about. Of I mean, course. And we heard Blitz, right? They wanted to play a faster game on Liquid.